Hey friends, home equity is a powerful thing and I've got a few people a little confused over their home equity and what can they do with it. So I wanna to explain to you what home equity is and four powerful things that you can do with it without selling your home. Okay, as we get started here, I drew a picture of a house on my little whiteboard here behind me. And so when we're thinking about home equity, we want to think about what that looks like. So most people nationally, the statistic is 50% of people own, owe 50% or less on their home. So 50% of your home, this is what you owe. This is your debt down here, okay? So home values are going up and the amount that you owe or the amount that your home is worth across the top here this is going to be your home value that probably can't even read that so your home equity is really what's here in between what is in between what your home is worth and what your debt or your mortgage is against the home and every month that you make a payment that debt goes down and as home values are appreciating your home value goes up and that creates that spread of equity. So many people are wanting to know what they can do with that equity if they don't want to sell. Well, there's four simple solutions and maybe even more, but there's four that I've come up with that you can do with the home equity in your home. Number one, you can pull out a home equity line of credit and that is taking a loan from the bank for what's here in that middle right? It's an open line of credit where you can borrow money against the equity in your home. Well, why would you want to do that? What would you do with that money? Well, number one, you can pay off any other debt you might have. Do you have any high interest credit cards? Because oftentimes the amount of interest you pay on your mortgage or on your equity line is going to be less than the amount of interest you pay to a credit card company or um, a department store or wherever else you might be carrying debt. Maybe you went and bought an ATV or a fishing boat or a pontoon in our case. Things like that that you have bought that you might be making payments on. You can pay those debts off and wrap it into the equity in your home. Maybe you don't have that kind of debt and that wouldn't work for you. Maybe then Option number two, you use that equity to buy another home. Maybe you want a second home. Maybe you want a piece of land to go hunting on. Here in Minnesota, we like our up north cabins. So you can use that money to fund another piece of property. Or if you want to get into investing, real estate investing, you use that money to buy another piece of real estate for investment purposes. Okay, um, let's see. We talked about paying off debt buying an investment property or a second home. Maybe number three, maybe you wanna renovate your home. Maybe you hate your home, but you don't wanna move and you wanna make some changes to your home so that you love it even more. Build out an office, fix the kitchen, fix the bathroom. Maybe your kids are flying away and you wanna make some improvements um, now that they're gone. So again, you can borrow against this credit line to use that money to reinvest in your home, which again is gonna have an impact in probably increasing that value. So you're looking at ways to increase that equity. Number four, if you're thinking about retirement, you can pull that equity against your home and build out some of your retirement accounts. Max fund them as much as you can so that you are working your way into retirement. Or sell your home and buy something smaller and use that extra to again fund your lifestyle in retirement. Anyway, those are four, possibly five different ideas I have of what you can do with the equity in your home without selling. Hope that helps.